Welcome folks, before us we have two questions, one from the matrices and the other one from the vendors and another set. So let's do with question 2a, the determinant of matrix Q is uh, of these uh, elements and uh, the determinant is 8. Now find the value of x. So we are dealing with finding the value of x given the determinant of a matrix. So according to the principles here, we are going to identify the major diagonal. So these are our major diagonal. Then x minus 4, it's one value. Then this represents the minor diagonal. Right, so to find the determinant, so the formula is the determinant of matrix Q. We are going to find a product of the elements from the major diagonal, which is uh, we multiply 8 by x. So 8 multiplied by x minus, always uh, you subtract. Then uh, this element here is x minus 4, it's one number, multiply by this one, 12. Right. So the, where there is determinant, we put the given number, which is 8. Now 8 by x will give us 8x minus c. Then we distribute 12, 12 times x, is 12x minus 12 times 4 will give us 48 then we also distribute the negative so negative times 12x is negative 12x negative times negative 48 will give us positive 48 we are going to collect the like terms where the positive 12x I mean 48 will shift to the left side this will be 8 minus 48 is equal to 8x minus 10x. So this is positive so a negative. So we are going to subtract 48 minus 8 is 40. Now our answer will be negative. Then also here we are going to subtract. This will give us negative 4x. So we divide by negative 4 also here by negative 4. So if we cancel, x is equal to positive 10. So this is the, the value of x. Now let's uh, replace x with the, the value that we have calculated. Here we have 8, 12, 10. Now for this one is x minus 4. x is 10 minus 4 is giving us positive 6 so this is now our actual matrix q right now after we are done we can now go to roman number 2 here we are finding the inverse of matrix q so the formula is inverse of matrix q is equal to 1 divided by the determinant multiplied by the adjoint of matrix q Right, so it's 1 over the determinant is Q multiplied by. So now, what happens if you are trying to find the adjoint? So the adjoint would begin with the major diagonal. So for major diagonal, you interchange the position. So the 10 will replace 8, and the reverse is also true. So our 10 will move at this point, then our 80. For minor diagonal, you don't have to change the position. What happens is you just change the signs of the elements. So this becomes negative 6. Then here we have negative 12. So this is our final answer. We move on to question B. The Venn diagram below shows the optional subjects that all the written learners at Kusambila School, secondary school, took in a particular year. Right, so we have history, music, and geography. <coughs> now, Roman number one, given that 12 learners took music, find the value of x. 
So let me see if I can eh, draw the set for for music. So this is music. Then under music, we we'll have this part. X minus three is under music. X plus two is also under music. X minus two is also under music. Then everything in set music must be equated to this number, which is twelve. Right, so we are going to put x minus 3 plus x plus 2 plus x minus 2 is equal to 12. So I'm going to collect the like terms. So x plus x plus x. Then here we have negative 3 plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 12. So you can cancel this. We know 2 minus 2 is 0. Then x plus x plus x will give us 3x. So we have 3x now. Minus 3 is equal to 12. We shift negative 3 to the right side to change from negative to positive 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. We divide by 3, also here by 3. So 3 into five, uh, 15 is 5. So x is equal to 5. Now, under this portion here, it's x minus 3. x is 5 minus 3, which is giving us 2. So this means that here, the number here is 2. Here we have x plus 2, which is 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So this portion is for 7. Then here we have x minus 2. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then we have 3 here. Right, so we move on to Roman number 2. How many learners were in grade 10 this particular year? So the total number of learners. We need to add all the numbers, so 59 plus 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 43 is equal to, so 59 plus 2, that is 61 plus 7, 68 plus, <coughs> excuse me, plus 3, that is 71, so 71 plus 43 will give us 114. So this is the total number of learners. Then for Roman number three, find the number of learners who took a one option subject only. So we just want to see for those that just see took, if it's history, it's history only. They never did any, any other subject. So 59 is history only. Plus C, seven is music only. Plus 43 for geograph only. So uh, 59 plus uh, 59 plus 7 that is uh, 66, 66 plus 43 will give us 109. Then for the last part, two optional subjects only. So 2 did history and music. 3 did music and geography. So we take the, the intersection part, which is equal to 5. So this is how we can answer questions like this one. So just for a reminder, for those that have not yet subscribed, please do so. And uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified as soon as I post new videos. And also, for those that want tuitions, please uh, feel free to write in the comment section below. I'll be able to attend to you. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. <coughs>